Good evening from the Magnus Arena at the University of Denver in Denver, Colorado. I'm Jim Lara of the PBS NewsHour, and I welcome you to the first of the 2012 presidential debates between President Barack Obama, the Democratic nominee, former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney, the Republican nominee. And TPP. Two presidential, one vice presidential, are sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Debates. Tonight will be about domestic issues and will follow a format question to answer. Cheers, applause, boos, hisses, among other noisy, distracting things. <laughs> and let's begin with jobs. What are the major differences between you uh, about how you would go about creating new jobs. But I've been out of work since May. Can you help me? Uh, and my husband has had four jobs in three years, part-time jobs. He's lost his most recent job, and we've now just lost our home. Can you help us? And the answer is yes. Uh, first, math and science teachers are uh, higher than they've been in, in years. But I also believe that we've got to look at the energy sources of the future. Anarchy or riot? I cannot tell a lie, those pants make your butt look big. What are we talking about? The room. Praise Lord Helix. The room. I love this music. We shall give a Helix fossil to all. Don't be praised. If we just print money that will sum our job problem and we will all be rich. Okay. 420 just plays. Mega Salamence go nyum nyum. What to do about the federal deficit, the, the federal debt, as to how you would go about tackling the deficit problem in this country. Well, good. I, I'm glad you raised that, and it's a, it's a critical issue. I want to lower spending and encourage economic growth at the same time. What things would I cut from spending? Well, first of all, I will eliminate all programs. Democrats and Republicans, reduction plan, waste taken out of the system. Now, we all know that we've got to do more. It's on a website. You can look at all the numbers, what cuts we make, and what wherever new we raise. Legalize gay cabbage. Pint more money. More gambling. Riot or riot. Also give me my superpowers. We riot. Bosco is not what you think it is. I don't talk, but my mouth moves. Installing more game corners with sketchy basements. Recognize TPP Arena as a legal casino or riot. Remove all of the Pantheon, they get paid the big bucks. I don't know what is going on right now. All right, all right, this is segment three, the economy. Entitlements. First, uh, first answer uh, goes to you, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, Mr. President. Uh, do you see a major difference between you on Social Security? You know, Social Security is uh, structurally sound. It's going to have to be tweaked the way it was by Ronald Reagan and Speaker, Democratic Speaker Tip O'Neill. Uh, but uh, it is, the basic structure is sound. And the answer is neither the President nor I are proposing any changes for any current retirees or near retirees, either to Social Security or Medicare. So if you're 60 or around 60 or older, you don't need to listen any further. Completely remove all social security. Impeach Z33K. Son, where do you get this crustal weed? My eyes are broken. Impeach, I say. What we need to do about social security is replace it with the 100 Club. It's very important for the elderly to stay old. Stop chipping Pioxes X Tommy. Hello, AC. D. I would gladly accept thee as my running mate. That brings us to closing statements. There's a coin toss. Governor Romney, you won the toss, and you elected to go last, so you have a closing two minutes, Mr. President. The American people, they have an opportunity to succeed, and everybody's getting a fair shot, and everybody's getting a fair share. Hey, everybody's doing a fair share, and everybody's playing by the same rules. You know, what kind of America do you want to have for yourself and for your children? 
And there really are two very different paths that we began speaking about this evening. And over the course of this month, we're going to have two more presidential debates and a vice presidential debate. We'll talk about those two paths. Thank you, Jim. I, Walter Monmail, accept Cleo D as my favorable running mate. Flaron did nothing wrong. Kill the other candidates with fire. My running mate, the Malakazam, would be happy to answer that for you. Next, Tommy Cannon. Dome. Helix. We are at war with East Asia. I will vote for whoever promises the Helix. We will say only me if elected president. Riots every day. For now, from the University of Denver, I'm Jim Lara. Thank you and good night.